21st tonight. Expectations are flying high as hunters from across the country arrive in South Dakota ahead of tomorrow's big pheasant opener. Yeah, they're optimistic because the state's pheasant population is way up this year. Kelloland's Perry Groton spent the day at the Sioux Falls Regional Airport where hunters are looking forward to a successful start to the season. Perry? Well, Sammy and Brady, the hunters keep filing into the Sioux Falls Airport here. Flights from Denver and Phoenix have just arrived and more planes are scheduled to arrive this hour, bringing in hunters from all across the United States. And the numbers are in their favor. The latest brood survey finds a 47% increase in pheasants this year. Just about every hunter arriving at Sioux Falls Regional Airport was aware that South Dakota has a higher pheasant count this year. You know, hopefully we, we can hopefully we can limit every day. Um, and uh, we, were, we were able to come close to that last year, even with, with a bad count. Uh, so this year, I'm, you know, like, again, I'm hoping that we, we do just as well, if not better. The aptly named Howard Hunter of Tampa, Florida, says he'd make the trip to South Dakota even if pheasant numbers weren't good. Florida is probably two-thirds the size of South Dakota in land mass and has 20 million people in it. You guys have 850,000. I love it. It's, just, it's, it's, it's a great change, just a super change of pace. Some hunters flying back home to Virginia can confirm the higher pheasant numbers after spending time this week at a private lodge near Flandreau. It was great for us. The birds were getting up and it was a little windy one day, but besides that, weather fantastic. The, the population was fantastic. While the bird count is up, farmers might still have a tough time in the field since the wet fall has stalled the harvest. And the challenge is going to be you know, getting that crop out in a timely fashion and, and as they uh, get more and more corn and soybeans out, those birds will head to those grass areas where they're a little more available to the hunters. Crops still in the field give pheasants more cover to hide from hunters, but hunters still like their chances this time around. And so we're looking forward to, to, to doing it with a, with a better bird count and hopefully less work finding the birds. And the Sioux Falls Convention and Visitor Bureau has a booth here in the, in the terminal greeting hunters and giving away cookies and water bottles. And several businesses also have booths here in the terminal. And they're uh, presenting uh, the hunters with uh, free merchandise and prizes. But